Hi, I'm Micah. I'm the Digital Modification Supervisor here at Cascade DAFO. In this video, you'll learn what makes a cast suitable for scanning and how to prepare your cast for measuring thickness. But before we get started, one question you may be asking is, why do I still need to cast? There are two main reasons. One, most pediatric patients have a hard time sitting still for the length of time it takes to scan, and wiggly kids don't scan well. Two, the best fitting brace is made from a patient held in their best position of function. That may be a vertical heel, level forefoot, and slightly dorsiflex ankle, or an accommodation to something as close as possible to this balanced position. Most patients in need of DAFOS will have to be realigned and held in that position for scanning. A cast is currently the best way to accomplish this goal. You can review the basics of good casting on our website. We know that a good cast is the key element to brace fit and function. Scanning casts doesn't change that. However, here are a few extra things that you need to know about how to make a cast that will scan well and make it easy to measure the thickness. When creating a cast that will be scanned, here are some particulars to keep in mind. Casting material. Don't use plaster. While plaster casts capture the anatomy really well inside the cast, it's too uneven on the outside and an accurate shape won't get picked up in the scan. Any type of fiberglass tape is preferred. Regardless of material, don't wrap too thickly. This can make it hard to measure cast thickness and mask anatomy. Light colored material is best for all scanners because dark material like dark blue or black doesn't scan well. Smooth even wrap. Create a smooth, even surface. Avoid excess material sticking out. Avoid large holes or wrinkles because these create problems in the scan and can mask anatomy. Leave the toe area open so that calipers can be inserted to measure the thickness. Once you've created a good cast, here's how to get ready for measuring thickness. Remove closures if necessary. It's easiest to measure the cast thickness right after removing the cast from the patient because the casts are still a little pliable. But if you're measuring much later than that, remove any tape or staples that are closing the cut seam so that it's easier to get the calipers inside. Remove excess material. Remove any loose bits of wrap material so they don't interfere when measuring or scanning later. Leave stockinette in the cast. Trim excess stockinette at the toes and top so it doesn't get in the way when measuring or scanning. All right, now you know what to look for when prepping the cast. If you need any help, you can call our customer support team. Next, we'll look at how to use calipers and measure cast thickness.